Hi guys, it's Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy, and I'm here for you today with your live energy and tarot reading. This is a reading to help us to know how we can best navigate this week. Um, there is such a thing as universal energy, the energy that all of us are processing here on the planet at this time. And so this is basically a reading for how we can best navigate this week and what's going on with the energy this week. So make sure if you guys are watching that you say hi. I always love to hear from you. Um, before we dive into the reading, before we start talking about how the energy is, hi mom, my mom's always watching, thank you. Um, how we can, um, before we dive into the reading, um, a couple of things. So tonight at, I believe it's, 7 p.m. Um, I'm going to be going live with Kevin Crenshaw. I know that you guys uh, loved Kevin the last time that we did a video together. We kind of last time just did a spontaneous video together and Kevin is my favorite relationship coach. I always call him a love guru because I think I like that better. Um, but he's great and he's amazing. And so many of you messaged me after that video and were just like, thank you. That was exactly the message that I needed for best navigating whatever situation I had going on or exactly the message I needed in that time. And um, so, and I was reaching out to him for my online clarity summit that's going to be totally free to all of you. I'm going to have the info posted up this week, so make sure you keep an eye out on that. But I was asking Kevin to be a part of that, and he said, absolutely. But I also, you know, that's really far away. That's in May. So when can we get together? When can we do another video? Because I was telling him that you guys are asking for more with him. So Kevin is going to be going live with me tonight at 7 p.m., so make sure that you watch for the notifications on that so that you can catch that video as well. And then there'll also be the replay available for those of you that don't catch it live. Make sure that you watch it because he is absolutely brilliant when it comes to relationship stuff and life and, and everything. So make sure you catch that and watch that. So this week, um, the energy is, you know, there's a lot of good going on, right? I feel a lot of good. I, I, I feel a lot of people feeling more upbeat and more hopeful. But I'm kind of noticing a theme here where, and, and you'll see, I've been posting and I've started my post the past couple of days with, it doesn't have to be so hard. Because I feel like right now we're making life harder than it needs to be. We are sometimes our own worst enemy, right? So we are overthinking things. We are putting energy and time and emotion into things that in the grand scheme of things don't really matter. We are um, we are not focusing so much on our gratitude in some ways. You know, we like I feel like we need to work on that as well. We're um, maybe focusing a little too negatively on some things and um, uh, maybe so focused on things that just aren't really at the end of the day that important you know that are really coming from an ego based place rather than from our soul and so you just want to kind of keep yourself in check in regard to that and remind yourself that it doesn't have to be so hard I'm gonna be doing those posts through the rest of the week because it's such a strong theme this week but remind yourself that it doesn't have to be so hard look for the simple pleasures in life let yourself maybe not overthink it and just hand it over, just surrender it. And I know sometimes that's hard, but working on that surrendering it to God, the universe, whatever that is for you, so that it can be taken care of for you. Because as much as it's important for us to take action in our lives, I think at a certain point that surrender really serves us because, and I say this all the time, but God will always know better for us. And so making sure that you are surrendering and allowing your higher power to take over and take care of things for you. It doesn't have to be so hard. And I also am seeing, and this is part of that energy, is that we're kind of throwing up roadblocks to, to our lives, you know? So like we're making some progress, there's this forward moving energy, and, and then we're throwing up roadblocks of old habits, old patterns, old stuff that like, 
I think we kind of have already decided needs to go and recognize needs to go, but for whatever reason, it's getting stirred up right now. And um, it's really important that you honor that commitment to yourself that it does go, that you do level up, that you do release that, that you do move forward because you don't need that old stuff in your life. You don't need those patterns that never worked out for you. You don't need those fears that have held you back for years. So working on releasing all of that, recognize it, recognize where you're self-sabotaging, recognize where you are creating roadblocks for yourself because the roadblocks that we have right now are not created by other people. They are created by us. They are us self-sabotaging. They are us preventing ourselves from moving forward. And I think that it's just sometimes when you're actually making progress, when you're actually moving forward, you can sometimes fall back into old patterns and habits because that fear creeps in, that fear gets stronger. So making sure that you're not doing that to yourself and that you're recognizing when you are doing that and that you're making some changes. We have made so many changes over the past couple of years and we don't wanna go back, right? I don't wanna go back, you don't wanna go back, so don't let yourself go back. Um, I also feel really strongly, and I felt this energy, I've talked about this in a couple of videos lately, that we really need to focus on this collective energy and us as a whole. So we can be very focused on us individually, right? But can we focus a bit on us as a whole, us as a collective? Can we think about how we can help other people um, how we can um, work together with other people. And it doesn't mean that you can't be independent. Of course we wanna be independent and have that as well. But how can we sort of support our fellow man? You know, How can we do things to help and um, be of service where needed and, and just bring people together? Can we just like get our friends together and enjoy time together because that's important? Can we be more social this week? So all these things, we wanna just think about people together and um, us as a collective and what we can do to incorporate that into our lives. Can we not get so focused on our own stuff that the people who are important to us get pushed out or feel ignored or feel like they aren't loved and valued and honored. So that, and, and even people that you don't know, how can you help? What can you do? Um, how can you make the world a better place this week? Because each and every one of us, if we are focusing on that, we make an impact, we make a difference. So just giving some of those things some thought. And I also feel like lastly, before I dive into the cards, that we wanna make sure that we're seizing the opportunities that are coming our way. We're throwing roadblocks in, but there are opportunities that are coming our way. Make sure that you don't block them out. Make sure that you allow it, that you trust that, that things are actually happening for you. I'm seeing a little bit of things are actually happening for people this week, and they're looking at, at it going, I don't trust it, it's too good to be true. What if you actually manifested amazing things for yourself? What if the things that you've been wanting are actually arriving into your experience? What if you know the ideal situation has actually happened for you? What if God has delivered on his promises to you that he's going to create an amazing life for you? You know, so so trust it. Let yourself be a little bit of a dreamer, a believer, and just trust in possibilities. And if it doesn't work out, by the way, it's probably a lesson that you needed to learn anyway. So just allow whatever's showing up for you and, and, and stop throwing down those roadblocks if you can. I think that that's really, really important. So let's take a, these, oh, take a look at these cards. I've seen some comments come through. Um, let me know, say hi. Let me know how you guys are feeling this week, what you guys are experiencing with the energy. Are you recognizing that you're throwing out roadblocks? You know, and what do those look like if you want to share some of those? Or are you did you recognize a roadblock and you handled it differently this time? Did you stop yourself before you put it down? Or did you put it down and you picked it right back up and you said, nope, I'm not going to do my life that way anymore? I would love to hear from you guys. Make sure you're saying hi too if you're watching on the replay. Hi, Ashleen. One of my fellow 
former future life fam watching Ashleen. I love Ashleen. If you don't um, already watch her videos, um, you're going to want to make sure that you watch them. She's amazing. She pulls cards, I think, every day. Is that right, Ashleen? She has a lot of great readings. I always follow her readings. They help me a lot. And I know she's got a YouTube channel as well. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. So first we have, hi Shelly, thanks for watching, um, the horse card. Um, the horse card says, care for others and let them be free. Okay, so this is kind of like, you want to make sure that we are giving our love and that we are being loving to other people, but also understanding that need for freedom and trusting in giving people that freedom. You know, you can't love someone and lock them in an energetic cage, you know? You have to love them and let them be free. Let them be themselves. Let them live their lives. And um, certainly we can say, this is what I need from you, or these are the boundaries that I'm, I need to set with you. But also let them be themselves. Like just giving that pure love where it's like, I love you for who you are. Not I love you, but here change 12 different things about yourself. Just I love you for who you are and honoring that and allowing that person to have the freedom to be themselves, to have the freedom to live their lives so that they can love you in return even better so that they can give you that kind of love right back. And um, as we're taking a look at how can we help out the collective, how can you do that for just people as a whole? You know, can we start to maybe explore the idea that overall human beings are relatively decent people, you know, um, and that that there is good in, 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 in people as a whole and start to recognize that and start to look for evidence of that because I think that that's really important too, that we think about loving this world as a whole and putting out more loving energy because the energy that you're putting out is exactly the energy that you're going to be getting back. So making sure that you are thinking about what you're putting out there and those kinds of energies. The next card that we have is the shark card, okay? So this card says lead as a powerful, peaceful warrior. You know, like, so be, uh, be powerful. Let yourself connect with your power. Let yourself just dive in to to being your most powerful self, being a leader, all of these things, but do that in a way that's also peaceful, finding that balance where you are being a person who's honoring yourself, but you're also honoring other people, and can you find that balance? And so we might find ourselves on the shadow side of that, kind of being that shark where we you know, want to bite into people. Maybe we're a little angry. Maybe we're a little frustrated um, with the way that people are. But can we be a little bit more patient? Can we teach rather than preach, right? Um, can we help to show people the way? And can we be loving in our leadership approach? Again, we have that theme of love. Can we be loving? Can we be kind? Um, but can we also set boundaries as needed or lead the way that we need to lead in a way that honors other people and ourselves. So I think that we're maybe going to be called to lead a little bit this week. Hi Roxanne, thanks for watching. Um, and then we have the llama card, right? So this is set clear boundaries and enforce them. I kept mentioning the boundaries with the shark. What boundaries can you set? How can you set them um, in a way that feels good and honors you? What is it that you need? What boundaries do you need to set? Um, what changes do you need to make so that you are living your best life and enjoying your life and uh, able to enjoy life and, and not have it be so hard? Because sometimes that's how life can be hard is like we're allowing people to walk all over us or we're not setting the boundaries that we need to make and we're not honoring our soul and what it's telling us that we need. So we wanna make sure that we are doing that. And then here we have the bear card. So the bear card says, use power with wisdom. So again, it's like a leadership vibe. It's us connecting with our power. So we are gonna be called to be leaders in our own way this week. And all of us are leaders in 
our own way and we all have our own leadership style and so um, just thinking about what your leadership style and how can you authentically lead how can you honor who you are and authentically lead in a way that feels good for you the way that I lead is gonna be really different from the way that somebody else leads and that's okay because if I'm honoring who I am and what feels best and right for me to lead that's always gonna be the best approach that's always gonna be the best way whereas you know some other person that's leading in a totally different way as long as they're honoring what feels best for them and who they authentically are and they're honoring the people that they are interacting with that's also going to be the right way so it's about being you and pulling those qualities out of yourself that you know um, help you to be the best leader that you can be make sure you guys are saying hi if you're watching I see lots of you watching um, let's see so and the next card we have is the Ladybird card, okay? And this card says, accept happiness and good fortune. So again, this is that message of like, it's okay to let good things happen. It's okay to trust that good things are actually showing up for you. It's okay to believe that things can be better from this point forward. Stop being so guarded. Stop being so protective of yourself that you're not actually letting the stuff that you really want in your life from arriving because we can do that we can again feel like we don't trust it because it's like is it too good to be true or um, you know it's never worked out for me in the past so why would I trust that it's gonna be okay this time you know sometimes it does work out sometimes good things happen sometimes a lot of times good things happen if we're open to it if we're allowing it we can be our own worst enemies in that way so stop throwing down those roadblocks and accept that happiness and accept that good fortune from coming in and then last card that I pulled is actually from another deck this is I got some new decks guys like they had the Hay House um, all the hay, or a bunch of the Hay House decks on discount and um, I totally bought some and I'm not sorry about it at all I, I maybe have a tarot and oracle card problem but it's work expense right it's a write-off but anyway so um, I got the Caroline Miss archetype cards and this is just these themes that can show up within us or within our world and so what is the theme that we have going on what is the archetype that we have going on for us as a collective right now and the card that I pulled is God okay so first of all understanding that God is present understanding that um, God is here to support you and this card itself says the light attributes of this particular energy say benevolence and compassion recognizing the internal force within yourself and others so recognizing that you are an extension of God's love and God's light an extension of God himself and how this you know is helping you to live this life and to be your best self and to be this person that you are designed to be and you are really just that extension of God and when you can think about yourself in that way it's hard to not have some love for yourself and um, to want to do better for yourself and take better care of yourself so thinking about yourself as that extension of God's light you're created in God's light and so considering that and understanding that you are a powerful powerful force like we've talked so much about power today we've talked so much about leadership and if you're not stepping up to lead if you're not taking on these opportunities that are coming your way do it because you're gonna be sorry if you don't you're gonna regret it um, and then the shadow attributes of this say um, uh, cruelty using power to control people so we want to be aware of you know not taking it too far where we go into that ego based place of trying to be God in terms of trying to control things understand that the only person you're in control of is yourself and letting other people just be who they are and loving them for who they are and letting them be on their own unique individual journey themselves so that is my reading for today I hope you guys will join me again tonight I was mentioning that I'm gonna be live with Kevin Crenshaw uh, my favorite love guru tonight so he's gonna be sharing some more messages with all of you I know you guys loved him when he was live with me before so we're gonna be doing that later and um, keep an eye out for the clarity summit stuff I'm gonna be releasing that 
this week and starting to share with you some of these amazing teachers that I have lined up for you, 100% free, where you can join the group and get in the group, and then there's going to be throughout that week just videos of people teaching and sharing their wisdom in all different kinds of categories and areas with you. So I hope that you guys catch that. If you want to learn more about me or about Clarity by Christy, you can check me out at discoveryourawakening.com. Take care, guys.